you're looking for the perfect material for a scud wing case, a stonefly shell, or something translucent so you can wrap a body and leave a cool effect, which we're totally doing in this video. In this product spotlight video, we're covering Hairline's modeled transparent slim skin. This is about half the colors. We're gonna show them all to you. Cool stonefly, huh? We're, we're tying this one in this video, just a little bit later. The modeled transparent slim skin is a, a super thin material that is translucent. I, I don't call it transparent because, I mean, they do have a clear one, but it, it's, it's got a pattern to it. It's translucent. I call it translucent. Okay, Google, what's the difference in transparent and translucent? Objects that are transparent look clear, like eyeglasses or water. Light passes through transparent objects, so you can see through them. Some objects are translucent, meaning they only let some light through. But this stuff is great for shellbacks on anything from craws to all the way to scuds, just like I said earlier. But it also wraps a great body. And you can put something underneath this and it'll kind of shine through, which we'll again do later as well. But I think we need to really cover the elephant in the room before we go any farther. So slim skin and thin skin are basically the same material. I really hate to put it that way, but uh, we have trust here. I'm gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> the only differences are colors and patterns that are on it. Slim Skin has 14 different colors of just the transparent modeled. I'm short a couple, but orange, olive brown, dark tan, light pink, chartreuse, black, brown, gray, rust, olive, and golden olive. So Slim Skin comes on a card. Like this. Cut this stuff while it's still on the card. Trust me. So then all you have to do is peel the card off. So this is the material. And you can see the, the translucency and the patterning that it has on it. And one of my favorite ways to use it is to wrap it as a thin body itself. And because of its translucency, it has the ability to let materials underneath it shine through but then it still has this cool patterning so it gives a really cool effect we're going to jump over to the vise right now and show you how to tie a a really cool caddis pattern that's super super easy that i've used a lot you want to talk guide flies this is a total guide fly and it's great so easy for this caddis i've got a mustad alpha point curved caddis hook in the vise this is a number 10. for the thread i'm using viva six ox I've already cut a strip of the slim skin. It still has the backing on it. Peel this backing off and this is what you end up with. Cut a notch on the tie inside. And give it a little stretch as you tie it in. Next, I'm gonna add three strands of chartreuse flashaboo. Wrap the flashaboo forward. And now we're gonna wrap the slim skin forward. Pulling tight. For the next step, I have some ice dub in peacock black. Now we're gonna palmer some Hungarian partridge for legs. This is like soft tackle style. And 
and back to more Peacock Black Eye stub. And with finish. And you end up with a super, super easy caddis pattern. So another way, and probably the most obvious and probably widely used way of using this stuff is for shellbacks. I'm talking shellbacks on everything from scuds to crawfish, and in particular stoneflies. Yeah. With all these different colors, it's really, really easy to get a really cool effect and still have your base fly still be the same thing. So you can have a yellow body with like the brown slim skin and it's still gonna shine a little bit of that yellow through. Uh, it's just, it's really, really cool effect. And I tied a golden stone for years with just the, the flat colored stuff. And this model has taken that stone to a new level. So again, let's jump over to the vise and tie that stone. To start off, I've got a Daiichi 1730 hook in the vise. This is a number six. On it, I've got a 3 16 brass bead. I'm gonna start by sliding the bead all the way to the back, using as little thread as possible. Now I've got some tan turkey biots. You can use goose, it doesn't matter. And whip finish. Next, I'm gonna add some 025 lead wire from the bend of the hook forward. Add two more buyouts for the tail. Like so. Next we're gonna tie in the slim skin. This is olive brown or oyve brown. <laughs> Next, we're tying in some ultra wire and medium copper. I'm gonna tie it in on the side closest to me. This is gonna help my profile be a little bit more flat and a little bit more wide. See how it got wider? For the dubbing, I have just a, a mix of, of some Angelina fibers and some Antron. Just a great dubbing mix. Don't be stingy here. Fold our slim skin over and tie it down. Next, we're gonna segment the back by wrapping the wire forward. Something like that. Now we're gonna pull our slim skin back and wrap back over this. This is also gonna be our wing case. And add in some rubber legs. A little bit more dubbing in between them. Fold our slim skin over. and whip finish. Now we're gonna give the legs a trim, and I always like the back legs a little bit shorter than the front legs. Just personal preference here. I'm gonna brush out just a little bit around the thorax, and you end up with a fantastic stone fly pattern that you can do in tons of different colors. So in these product spotlight videos, I try to come up with pros and cons for for almost every product I use. The main pro for the modeled transparent slim skin is easily how many colors it comes in. This comes in 
almost as many colors in just the mottled as thin skin does all by itself. So there's that. Everything else is the same. It's super easy to work with. Um, there's not there's not much to it. It's really really easy stuff. And I'm really I'm really trying to come up with a con. Um, I don't know. I, there's not much to be bad about it. It's just thin material that I, I don't know, just no cons, I guess. <laughs> I guess we don't have any cons. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the Slim Skin video. Now we're gonna give away the flies from the previous video. The random comment number generator thing picked Flyfish TN, probably Flyfish Tennessee if I were guessing. Flyfish TN, your member status is what got you there. So it worked out, perfect. Send me your address through Instagram or email and I'll get a care package out to you. For everyone else's chance to win the flies in this video and maybe some of this, like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to my channel. Subscribing's free, totally free. And then channel members get that many more entries into the giveaways. So yeah. For information on how to be a member, click on the link in the description or in the comments section and that'll tell you how. I really do dig this stuff. Super cool.